Almost live from the point of Saginaw on Washington Street in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Depot, a five-minute devotion that fits seamlessly into your day with an encouraging biblical thought designed to lift your spirit and point you to Jesus Christ. Thanks for clicking the start button. God bless you. Well, here we are once again. It's Friday, May 12th, 2023, and this is today's edition of Cafe Devo. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. You know that's my pal Bugsy, who hangs out over there in the corner every day and keeping watch over everything. Woe unto the person that tries to sneak into the church building. <laughs> the alarms will sound. <laughs> Hey, once again today, we return to the book Truth for Life. This is the second volume of Pastor Alistair Begg's Daily Devotions. This one is copyright 2022, The Good Book Company. 2 Corinthians 3, 5, and 6. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God, who has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant. God's purpose for his people in every age has been and is that we will depend on him entirely. This dependence does not come naturally to us because one of the great idols of every generation is power. Its allure is strong. Its ability to corrupt is even stronger. And what's true now has always been true. Those who obtain power are those bold enough to pursue it. And they tend to be marked by characteristics like charisma and a strong personality. That is how many measure strength and usefulness. Tragically, this is true even within the church, as leaders have often been given authority and influence because of their magnetism rather than their character and because of their ambition rather than their humility. Paul was well acquainted with such miscalculations. In fact, he even spent portions of two letters instructing the Corinthian church not to evaluate spiritual leaders by worldly standards. On some occasions, the Corinthians were tempted to align themselves with their favorite orators or to cherish worldly wisdom. On others, Paul had to combat the influence of so-called super apostles, as he put it, whose strength and gifting and power were observable in a way that the Corinthians found appealing, 2 Corinthians 11.5 and 12.11. By contrast, Paul wrote, when I am weak, then I am strong, 2 Corinthians 12.10. He knew that the power of Jesus was put on display in his weakness, and he readily confessed that he was not adequate for the work entrusted to him. Who is sufficient for these things, he asked, 2 Corinthians 2.16. You and I may not be super apostles, but we can relate to the temptation of worldly thinking. We are all prone to rely on ourselves, on our personalities, or on our gifts. What we have to learn is that spiritual usefulness is not found in such things. Instead, it is discovered when we humble ourselves before God when we acknowledge that we are wholly inadequate, Paul's confession must be ours. Weakness is actually strength. The very nature of the new covenant made by Jesus in his blood and to which we bring nothing but our sin should be all we need to remind us that we do not have what we need, but he does. God is at work to bring us to that point, to convince us that he alone is adequate. Do we want to grow in boldness? Then we must embrace our weakness before God, and he will lead us to faith-filled boldness before others. Do we want to grow in usefulness? Then we must embrace our inadequacy in private, and God will prove his sufficiency through us. 
Have you considered the possibility that one of the greatest barriers to to your usefulness in serving God may actually be your own sense of personal adequacy? Be sure to commit time to prayer and ask God to show you whether the delusion of self-sufficiency has seeped into your thinking in one way or another. Ask him to take it from you, that you may serve in the freedom and joy of weakness and inadequacy, and then watch him work. For more on this, go to the book of Judges, chapter 7, verses 1 through 32. Father, in and of ourselves, we are weak, but you are strong. Let us walk in our weakness and be mindful of our inadequacy so that you may move and you may receive glory and people may see you working through us. Bless us this day, Lord. Help us to walk in just that way. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, hey, that'll do it for us on this edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me. I hope your Friday is a good one. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.